Good morning, good day from Salzburg, Austria to Ghana to Accra. I hope that you are well and uh, welcome you for Innovation Week organized by the Kofi Annan Center for Excellence in ICT. With this video communication and greeting uh, from Austria, I want to connect you to New York, to Abu Dhabi and to Sri Lanka and to many other places in the world where innovation with ICT is not just a topic, but it is the main agenda, not just for innovation per se, but for social development and for issues like closing the digital divide and focusing not just on the technology, but on the uses of technology and of the benefits of technology for society. The story for you starts in the year 2000 with uh, the decision of the General Assembly of the United Nations to look at information society development in terms of what it delivers to people and how to close digital divides in terms of access and the use of the networks for people. When it started in 2003 with a big conference in Geneva, the main issue was how far does one have to walk in Ghana to get to the next telephone booth. In the meantime, your country has been transformed by mobile technology and your country has become a leader in terms of innovation using mobile technology, not just for voice communication, but also for data communication and delivering new products and services to people all around. However, what is really the issue since 2005 also on the United Nations agenda is how applications and content actually can close divides. These are divides in usage, these are divides in gender, these are divides in terms of affluence and money, and these are divides in terms of urban and rural societies and communities. And it is very important that you can see that the initiative which started with the World Summit Award as part of the United Nations Agenda on Information Society Development is an agenda to basically say that excellence in content is actually what delivers value to users. Excellence in content means content-rich applications, but it means smart contents. It means content actually as a driver for applications. When you look at what Ghana has done with MPedigree, in order to use a scanning function on the mobile phone, in order to track the correctness and the safety of the manufacturing information which is uh, written and printed onto bottles, onto packages for medication, this is something where content is not just something which is narrative, but content is an information content regarding what is inside, how safe is it to use, how do I use it best, and how can I use this for healing in terms of the bodily systems and functions and so on. And so Empedigree is a good example of how the agenda of the United Nations in terms of closing digital divides is actually translated into a health application, into an mHealth application, into an integrated application. Connecting Ghana to New York through the United Nations, to Geneva and to Tunis, to the conferences is just one thing. But when I look at you and you look at me now in uh, your conference, it is also that I want to connect you to Abu Dhabi and to what we are doing in the United Arab Emirates. There we have a strategic partnership in terms of developing mobile content from the perspective of excellence. Ghana and uh, your company STAR has developed things and applications which look at the efficiency of fleet management, for instance, in a very unique way and when we had your application as something which we wanted to put onto the global stage, we had Abu Dhabi as a host, but also as a host which, who tries to support and develop this. Now, what is the benefit for you from that? 
The benefit from you from that is that everybody in the fast-paced development of ICTs needs orientation on what is good, what is better and what is best. Because you, as anybody else around the world, do not want to be a follower. Do not just want to tread behind and, uh, and walk written paths and walked ways. You want to see what is innovative in terms of creating new value. And for that you need lighthouse projects. There is no theory, there is no manual in terms of innovation. The only thing we can do is, is learn from the best. Learn by giving credit to the best, by acknowledging who is best, by during who is best, and then actually learning from them by emulation, by mimesis, by copying, but giving credit to others, not by stealing, not by uh, just, I mean, clandestine, you know, trying to, I mean, do something which I saw somewhere else, but by acknowledging it, by sharing it, and by exchanging experience. What we are looking for is the franchising not just of ideas, but of products and of services. And what we are doing in Abu Dhabi with the World Summit Award Mobile there is actually giving you a platform for lighthouse events. That brings me to Sri Lanka. In Sri Lanka this year, in October, we will have the opportunity to look at this year's excellence in using ICT for innovation in applications and content, and content-rich, smart applications which deliver value to people. The important thing about content, however, is one other aspect which might not be on your mind yet in the same way. Content is local. Content is driven by the language. Content is language embedded. You and your languages in your country are actually the means of future innovation in terms of using the diversity of your cultures as a resource to adapt the information and communication technologies in a new manner, in a human manner, in a friendly manner, in a supportive manner. You, as many of others in around the world, do not want to live in a society which is dominated by technology, but which is supported by technology, which is augmented by technology, which is enhanced by technology. This is what the World Summit Award stands for. We are running as an NGO initiative with partners like the Kofi Annan Center for ICT. We are running the mechanism globally within the United Nations framework for excellence in content, excellence in smart content, excellence in content which drives applications so that people who use the application have real value from this. I send you my greetings from Salzburg, Austria. I hope you have a very, very fruitful, innovative innovation week and trust that you have to look around in your community to find the best uses of the technology. Then you can scale for global success. Thank you very much for your attention.